Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Oh, itchy nose, and it's Saturday. Best Buy. Oh, um, I bought some ranch mix, but it expired. Um, I'm cleaning out my refrigerator and stuff like you do. Uh, went to Starbucks and I went to Target. I needed some things, and because it's the New Year, New You, they have like their healthy stuff on sale buy one get one half price i love these cheddar crackers there's 10 grams of protein 10 carbs so it's not ideal but for me like i had this for lunch i have a bag of these for lunch so that works out and i'm on the go so much hi um dabby time what do you need my uh, oh you do huh yes i know somebody wants a treat here baba there you go she many crickets. Cat acts like. Oh, also for cats, I got off Amazon, not sponsored. This is Nordic Naturals Omega 3 oil. For, and I put it in their food at night for their coat and healthy joints because they're. Wellington is not a huge fan of the seafood which is interesting this is a cat anyway um the dollar spots coming out with their cleaning stuff again i use these on the regular on my carpet uh when the cats throw up so there's that and it works well they had a bunch of samples so i grabbed some we'll do food first so i can put it away pepperoni mozzarella cheese and rouse this is expensive, but it has the lowest carb per serving. So I buy this brand. Hi, Alex. Yes, he's not going to eat it all. Well, maybe he is. So we're just going to put this in the fridge. Um, I need to change kitty litter today, too. Oh, and then I got food saver bags. If I remember, I will pull... I will record with you. Um, my neighbor picked up for me at our grocery store a whole pork loin, like the whole thing, 20 pounds, and they cut it down for me for 99 cents a pound. So she picked one up for me, but I need to vacuum seal into portions. So I'll do that. I want to try, I keep seeing this poppy. Um, this is Olipop which is, I think it's supposed to be like their Dr. Pepper. And this is Raspberry Rose. It's a prebiotic soda. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I'm gonna give it to Sarah, I didn't look. This has 17 carbs, this has seven. I just assumed it was zero carb. It's not. So, unless there's sugar alcohols, there's not. So I will share this. And these were $2.39 a piece. I may return them. Yes, we should return them. That's a responsible adult thing to do, right? Actually, the spot responsible adult thing would have been reading the labels before I brought the $2.39 I can sew it at home. Uh, but I did know what this is. This is King Arthur brand, which is a reputable brand, keto um, wheat pizza crust mix. And it makes two pizza crusts. So this box has enough to make two full crusts. You got to make it all at once, though. That's unfortunate, but we'll see what happens. If I decide I want to weigh it out and measure half and half, we'll do that. But, um, yeah, so we're going to try to make a pizza with this not cheap pizza crust. This was $6.89, but it does make two. Um, I also got the buy one, get one half. These are legendary. They're like a pop tart. These are 22 carbs, which is a lot. Um, nine erythritol. So really there is 13 carbs for one, but again, this is a meal replacement for me. Like I would eat this on the go. So I'm gonna, I don't eat them often. But they were buy one, get one half price. And this package uh, is Best Buy 
November of this year. So I will have these when I'm on the go. Typically I'll have one when I work football or when I work the basketball games and I don't have time to grab a meal before I go and then that becomes my dinner. Okay, samples. I was actually looking, this is Detox Shampoo by the brand Way, which I love. Um, but I don't know. I need to read up what it does, but these were free samples. So I grabbed two of those. They had this, uh, Sunday to Sunday hair flourish biotin infused scalp serum, which I need. You're going to see in a second because my scalp, that smells good, is super dry right now and itchy. So we have this brand and then I bought the ordinary um, this is a one fluid ounce bottle of scalp serum. And this has um, like, I can't read it because it's too small, but it, oh, here it tells me on the box, which is a little bigger. Uh, Multi-peptide serum for hair density with Redizol, something, 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 something. It's good for your hair and your scalp. So I grabbed this to try tonight at bedtime. Oh, at bedtime to see if it will help with the itching. Um, and then they had Good Sense Lactic Acid. I don't know what that is, so I'm not sure we're going to be using that. But it was a, in the free samples, not a free sample. And then I grabbed one of these, two of these. They are spoolies. So I don't need them for home, but I want to throw it in my travel bag because for my eyebrows, these are nice size. They're not, the one I have is super long. So this is a better size. I take care of my eyebrows. And that was a freebie as well. And then I bought some Revlon mascara. What I should do with that pizza is just make a huge crust on a big pan. I do have a big pan. So I will take this hair product beauty regimen upstairs, put it away, chill out a little bit. I do want to show you something I finished, but first things first is going to be get this meat out and get the... Uh, get it packaged. So I probably will just show you a little bit of that because once I package one, I package one. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're gonna finish up with the pork. I will tell you, these are pork ribs and I put four to five of the ribs in here and I have four packages of this. So this is about three pounds of meat. So I have four packages of that. And then this is what the pork chops are going to look like. And I have, this will be my fourth package of this. And all of this was $20. When you find a good deal and you, you'll eat it, that's the thing, then you got to get it. I mean, you don't have to, but you know, I do because I will 100% eat this. And this will extend my freezer life to over like a year, I would say. I do mark everything with a Sharpie and put what is in here. But I'll eat this in the next six months. Ideally, I do need to clean out my freezer. Um, I also, my other seal -a meal food saver broke and I had to go get a new one. But I got a good deal on it, so there's that. So now I'm sealed. Um, I did leave these on the counter, or they're over here right now. Just to make sure everybody is properly sealed. I had one, I think a bone cut the bag so I had to reseal it but it's all oh I need to wash this little thing out you always want to make sure you wash your little drip tray because um, juices will get up in here but for these food savers this is not the only thing that you can um, seal you know it's meat and stuff there's all kinds of products you can seal and with the way the economy is right now yeah I'm all about saving money where I can and you know buying what i will use so i am going to go put all this meat i have more over here uh, i'm going to go put all of this meat in my freezer stacked up between pork chops and ribs and then i'm going to do some other cleaning and i'll be back 
All right, guys, we have pizza dough. I did the whole box, and the whole box should net us two 12-inch pizzas, and I'm going to make two of these. So what I need to do is cut this dough into fourths-ish, right? And I learned that I can freeze pizza dough because I can't eat all this in one sitting or before it will go bad. So here's what we're going to do. Olive oil in our hands. Got one here. One here. I'm just not trying. Oh, that's a lot of oil. Okay. Um, I just don't want this to dry out before I freeze it. So I'm going to cover it in oil. I'll freeze this in a minute. We'll get it over here. Okay, so what the directions said to do is press it out, right? It's got to be oiled. And I got to press it out into a pan. And you see how it's stretching right back. So what we're going to do is get it out as best we can. And then we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. And then we're going to press it out again. Right? Because it's glutinous. So this is definitely not gluten-free pizza dough. I don't believe. It's keto, but I don't think it's gluten. It's got wheat in it, so it's not gluten-free. They do also have gluten-free flour. All right, that was the timer. But I had extended it, so we're good. So... We're gonna just let that do its thing for 10 more minutes. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're just gonna press it into its little pan. I got these pans at Aldi a couple years ago. I've seen them since. So I know they bring them back. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stretch this out. We're gonna let it rest. We're gonna stretch it out again. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna make pizza. So we're just gonna keep stretching it like that. See, oh, it's doing good. Of course, I should try to like, you know, even it, but since we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes, I'm not too concerned. How's that looking? All right, we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. Let that rest, and I'm going to freeze the dough, and then I'll be back and we'll get these dressed. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, and I need to press out this one more time, right? Just to kind of. Get it out here. I can already tell you that one's a little thinner than this one. But we're just going to do pizza. I really hope this is good. And I really hope that it doesn't make my blood sugar go through the roof. Those are the two hopes of this pizza, right? Right. This one's a little thicker for sure, but it's okay. Because I didn't weigh the dough. Okay. Let's dry our hands. Well, olive oiling. And we have Ralph's pizza sauce that I showed you I bought. And I'm just trying to do things, you know, less is more when you're doing keto and low sugar. And I've done this, you know, I'm going on, I think, year seven. I started in 2017. 
So this is definitely not my first rodeo, but I want, I'm excited that there's some commercial products out here that may work for me. Now I won't eat this whole pizza for dinner, I can tell you that, but this will be good for a few days, so I'll pack it for lunch. I'll have it tomorrow, and then I'll pack it for lunch on Monday, and that should be it. Okay. Pizza closed. Maybe just a little more over here. There we go. Okay. And then I got just some Target brand mozzarella. The oven has been heated. Actually, since it's chilly today, I've had the oven on for most of the time this has been in the works. So the dough itself had to, rate, to rise for an hour in its pan and then 10 minutes. But the stove has been on, so it will be nice and warm over here. And I got extra fine cut mozzarella so it will melt it'll melt good so it just looks like i'm putting a lot on but it's extra fine so now this is where your toppings your choice i love olives i love olives and they're keto friendly so there's that as well and I got out, I didn't realize it, that I had pepper, or yeah, I had some pepperoni in my refrigerator. So I brought that out to use, so I'm not being wasteful. Eat this first, and then I'll open up the other one. So we'll see what's happening in here. These olives I got at Costco, and they have garlic and um, jalapeno in the center. Oh, I'm so excited. When my mom was alive and when I was eating, like, fast food most, you know, a lot, we would order a Domino's pizza with green olives on it. So good. I will say an Ohio pizza is different. I used to live in the East Coast. Uh, Massachusetts to be specific. Pizza is definitely different here than it is there. That's okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just throw a little more cheese on top so the pieces and parts stick it's like glue. Basically I'm just trying to keep the mushroom or the mushrooms. Oh mushrooms would have been good. The olives and the pepperoni intact when I cut it. So I don't know how long this is going to take at 475. That seems super hot, but what do I know? All right. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to keep a very close eye on it. We'll start it at like 10 minutes, I guess. Let me see the box. The box says bake pizza until cheese is bubbling and crust is brown, 15 to 18 minutes. So I have it on 10 to start because I have smaller pizzas. Um, and then I can always just turn it up after. Right, right. We'll be back. Ooh. Pizza is done. Out of the oven, that's cooling. Dishes will happen. Cleanup will take place. Ooh, I'm moving you Ooh, off the counter. There we go. There we go. So we're going to cut this one and we're going to try it because that's how we roll around here, right? And I feel like, like that's going to be dinner right there. Okay. It's very soft. It's also warm. So we'll just do this piece here. So I'm gonna pull you up and we're gonna taste test it. Okay. First of all, look at the dough. 
much chewy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's dough. Has a pizza con consistency. I think it needed some salt in the dough. But. Mmm. Hot. Let's cook it. It, it has risen like it's supposed to. I mean, as long as my blood sugar doesn't go through the roof, this is a viable option for me. All right. I think we're done vlogging for today. I'm going to come right back because I need to show you my clay, which you'll see that video Friday. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to chill out for the rest of the night. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along.